Some changing verbs. You see the O and the verb poder. Please make a small underline under the O. Next, dormir. Make a small under, underline under the O. Pensar. Small underline under the E. And preferir. We're going to do a small underline under the second E, the one right before the R. Same thing for repetir, the second letter E, right before the T. And lastly, the verb, the verb pedir, underline under the letter E. Those are the stem change areas, the part of the verb where the stem change will occur. The, the only way to know which verbs are stem changing and which verbs are not and which verbs stem change one way or another is to commit them to memory. But if you look at the board, I've written all of the stem changes we're working with. We have E to I, E to IE, O to UE, and U to UE. There's also a jo form conjugated verb to give you an example of what each of those look like. Also remember, there is no stem change in the nosotros form or the vosotros form. And since we really don't use the vosotros form very much in the Western Hemisphere, that's one you're not tested on, the vosotros form. So for the, um, for the activity here, they ask you to write the forms of the verb poder. I will write those on the board. Here we go. Poder is an O to UE stem changing verb. So, change O to UE. Puedo. Puedes. Puede. Podemos. The dos otros form is podéis. And lastly, pueden. So, poder is an O to UE stem changing verb. Therefore, it alters the way we spell the verb poder depending on the subject. Notice the nosotros form has no stem change. It acts like a regular verb. I've given you guys the illustration or the analogy of the nosotros police. When uh, the police show up at a conjugating stem change verb party, then we, nosotros, we, act normal. Aha. Uh, let's do these together. I can speak English. That would be, yo puedo hablar inglés. Yo puedo hablar inglés. We cannot eat in the class. If you want to say, nosotros no podemos, that's fine. You could simply say, no podemos comer en la clase. No podemos comer en la clase. Next, they can pay attention. Ellos pueden prestar atención. Ellos pueden Prestar atención. You all can play volleyball in España. Uh, you don't have to do that from the perspective of España. That would be, very literally, they're wanting you to use the vosotros form. So if you put, um, vosotros podéis jugar voleibol. That's fine. Or you can simply write, Ustedes pueden jugar voleibol. If you write, Jugar al voleibol, that's fine too. You can ask a question. Tú puedes hacer una pregunta. Or simply, Puedes hacer una pregunta. Puedes hacer una pregunta. She can memorize the words. Ella puede 
aprender de memoria las palabras. Ella puede aprender de memoria las palabras. Last question on this page. Can I go to the restroom? ¿Puedo ir al baño? ¿Puedo ir al baño? The last thing I want you to notice here. In Spanish 2, we're going to be using verbs side by side in the same sentence. When you have two verbs that occur side by side, here's the rule. You ready? Conjugate the first verb, not the second verb. Conjugate the first, not the second. Conjugate the first, not the second. Conjugate the first, not the second. I need to work. Those are two verbs. Necesito trabajar. I need to think. Necesito pensar. You follow me? So, necesitar, conjugated in the yo form, necesito. The second verb, trabajar, to work, stays infinitive. And we do that in English too. I need to work. I need to think. To work. To think. And you see that in very simple examples too, like puedo ir al baño. That might be a question you learned when you were in middle school, studying Spanish in middle school. Uh, like the song from Mr. Woolley. Maestro, puedo ir al baño. Por favor, necesito ir al baño. Right? Más verbos. Uyuyuy, bajura. Escribe las definiciones en inglés. Almorzar. To eat lunch. Dormir. To sleep. Poder. To be able to, it sounds funny to say, to can. <laughs> that sounds like a Fruit Loops mascot. Costar, to cost. Encontrar, to find. Recordar, to remember. Alborzar, to eat lunch, dormir, to sleep. Poder, to be able to. Or to can, <laughs> which is kind of weird. Costar, to cost. Uh, to cost money, to cost time, to cost a lot. Encontrar, to find, F-I-N-D, find. And recordar, to remember. Mis amigos y yo. Mis amigos would be third person plural. Yo is first person singular. Together, they are first person plural. Because mis amigos y yo would be nosotros. So the correct conjugation for number one, mis amigos y yo almorzamos en la cafetería. Mis amigos y yo almorzamos en la cafetería. Fun fact, cafetería does not mean cafeteria in Spanish. It means coffee shop, like Starbucks. It's just, you know, I want to throw that out there. Does anyone need... Uh, help. Is this helping? Is this, this is explanation helping now? Awesome. All right. End recording.